Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. There are many options how you can optimize gaming performance in Windows 11, but in this video we'll check two options which have been provided from Microsoft. But it's quite weird because deactivating those settings will affect the security of your PC. But let's have a look which are these features that Microsoft is suggesting to disable in case that you want a higher performing PC for gaming. So Microsoft uses virtualization in Windows 11 for scenarios including hypervisor protected code integrity. This is called memory integrity and the virtual machine platform. VMP or virtual machine platform provides core virtual machine services for Windows. Memory integrity helps prevent attackers from injecting their own malicious code and helps ensure that all drivers loaded on the operating system are signed and trustworthy. It will be enabled by default on all new Windows 11 devices. Enabling security features on by default is based on the evolving threat landscape and the responsibility Microsoft has to protect its over a billion Windows users. But as part of the continued testing and feedback from users, Microsoft has seen that in some scenarios and some configurations of gaming devices, there may be a performance impact with memory integrity and VMP activated. Windows provides a choice and control for users to configure their PCs to meet their specific needs, including the ability to turn off Windows features like memory integrity and VMP. Gamers who want to prioritize performance have the option to turn off these features while gaming and turn them back on when finished playing. However, if turned off those settings, the device may be vulnerable to threats. But I'm going to show to you guys how you can turn off memory integrity first. And for that, we just need to go at search and we type here core isolation. The best match is going to be this one, core isolation system settings. We click over it. So now from the options on the left, we click over device security. And now normally it should show you core isolation. So it, basically it's going to be something like this. But in case that your CPU is not supported from Windows 11, then you will not be able to see this memory integrity. Like in this case, for example, I'm using unsupported PC, so I cannot see memory integrity. But once you are on device security and you can see memory integrity, you just turn it off. And in this case, your computer will be better in gaming. So this is the view how it will look in case that you have memory integrity. Then the next feature that we need to deactivate is virtual machine platform. In order to deactivate features of Windows 11, we just write here at search, turn off Windows features. So we just write here, turn Windows features on and off. And normally it should show here the best match, which is turn Windows features on or off. We click over it in order to open these features. Now it will show the list of features of Windows 11, which we can activate or deactivate. In case that it's a tick here, then it's activated. And in case that it's not, then it's not activated. In my case, virtual machine platform was activated. So I'm going to unselect it and then I'll press over OK. So this feature will be deactivated from my PC. We just have to wait a couple of seconds till this feature is disabled. So basically that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. I know that there are many other tricks on the internet that you can use in order to improve the performance of your PC in terms of gaming. But those two settings I found really interesting because they are suggested from Microsoft and I don't really think that this is the best way, but sometimes when you are seeing that your PC is really lagging on gaming, etc., etc., probably you can do this and then you activate them again. 
So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. I hope you liked this video and please leave on the comments below what are the tricks that you are using in order to improve the performance of your Windows 11 on gaming. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Thank you.